Jupiter's great red spot, one of the most recognizable features in our solar system, is showing new and surprising behavior. Recent observations from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have revealed that this massive storm, which has been raging for over 150 years, isn't just shrinking as previously observed. It's now oscillating in and out, squeezing in a way we've never seen before. And here's the kicker. Scientists don't yet know what's causing it. In this video, we'll dive into what's happening with this iconic storm, what the latest data tells us, and why this discovery is crucial for understanding planetary weather systems. For years, we've known that Jupiter's Great Red Spot, or GRS for short, has been shrinking. This giant anticyclone was once over 25,000 miles wide, large enough to fit three Earths side by side. But recent measurements show that it's now only around 9,165 miles across. While scientists have been closely monitoring this gradual size reduction, what came as a huge surprise was the oscillating motion Hubble detected over 90 days between December 2023 and March 2024. Now, what do I mean by oscillation? Imagine a stress ball. When you squeeze it, it bulges out on the sides and then returns to its original shape. This is precisely what the GRS is doing. Hubble's images show the storm is expanding and contracting along its widest point, or semi-major axis, in a roughly 90-day cycle. It's as though the storm is being squeezed in and out in sync with its movement across Jupiter's atmosphere. This motion was utterly unexpected. While scientists have long known that the GRS moves slightly in longitude, drifting westward across Jupiter's surface, seeing its size change was new. Amy Simon from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, one of the lead scientists in the study, described the phenomenon as unprecedented. She said, this was very unexpected, and at present there are no hydrodynamic explanations for it. So, what could be causing this squeezing? One prominent theory involves the powerful jet streams surrounding the Great Red Spot. Positioned in Jupiter's southern hemisphere, the Great Red Spot is trapped between two strong jet streams that act as a kind of atmospheric fence, preventing it from drifting into different latitudes. These winds, which move at speeds of up to 266 miles per hour, 428 kilometers per hour, likely put pressure on the storm as it accelerates and decelerates. This pressure could be what's causing the Great Red Spot to squeeze in and out. Mike Wong from the University of California, Berkeley, described this phenomenon as similar to a sandwich bulging when there's too much filling between the slices of bread. Another possibility points to the storm's internal dynamics. While we can observe the upper layers of the Great Red Spot, what happens beneath the cloud tops remains a mystery. The storm likely extends hundreds of kilometers into Jupiter's atmosphere, and changes in the internal wind speed deep within the storm could be affecting the surface level squeezing. Interestingly, this oscillation is linked to the storm's westward drift. When the Great Red Spot slows down, it expands, and when it speeds up, it contracts. This anti-correlation suggests the storm's movement across the planet could be tied to the squeezing effect. However, scientists are still unsure of the exact mechanism behind this behavior, making it a fundamental mystery in understanding Jupiter's atmosphere. The shrinking and oscillating behavior of Jupiter's Great Red Spot, GRS, is just one aspect of its evolving nature. Another significant change is the storm's color. In earlier studies, scientists observed the once vibrant red hue of the GRS gradually fading. The deep red color, a hallmark of the storm, is now paler, likely due to chemical interactions within Jupiter's atmosphere. These changes might result from ultraviolet light breaking down specific chemicals in the upper layers of the atmosphere, altering the storm's appearance over time. Comparing the GRS to other storms on Jupiter also offers important clues. Oval BA, 
often called the Little Red Spot, emerged in the early 2000s after three smaller white ovals merged. Though oval BA also turned red, it hasn't matched the GRS in size or longevity. The comparison between these two storms helps scientists explore why the GRS has persisted for centuries, while other Jovian storms tend to be more transient. Neptune's dark spots also provide a valuable comparison to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Unlike the GRS, these storms on Neptune aren't anchored by solid jet streams, so they tend to move more freely across the planet's surface. This highlights how atmospheric dynamics, such as the presence or absence of jet streams, play a critical role in determining how storms behave and evolve on gas giants. The Great Red Spot's long-term evolution and comparisons to other planetary storms provide a broader understanding of how storms work in the extreme conditions found on gas giants. This research deepens our knowledge of Jupiter's atmosphere and sheds light on how similar weather patterns might exist on exoplanets, opening doors to understanding alien weather systems. Looking ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope could provide more insights by observing the GRS in infrared light. This will allow scientists to probe deeper into the storm, potentially uncovering new details about its internal dynamics, including wind speeds and atmospheric composition. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest space discoveries. As always, Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below.